Hi, this is Carrie from Scrapyard Chicks with our ninth day of photo ornaments. And today we're doing this fun little box. It's actually a little a mini explosion box. And this is just a little two by two box. So you can kind of, I've seen the bigger ones that we've done, the bigger ones that come out to be about four by four. You can put pictures and stuff on there. Um, this one actually hangs on your tree. We embellished it with some fun little stuff. And when you pull the top off, voila, the little pictures just fold out of the sides. Isn't that the cutest thing? And so the nice thing is that the top actually stays on it so that you don't need to worry about losing it. And then you just fold the sides back up like this. Uh, put that top back on, pull that up tight, and then you can just hang that onto your Christmas tree. So this is our really fun um, ornament that we're doing today. So we'll be back in a minute to show you all of the great folding techniques. Thanks. Hi, so I'm going to show you how we're going to fold our little mini box. We're going to use um, one sheet of double-sided pattern paper, or you could use cardstock. And you want to cut three different size squares. You need a six by six, a five and a three quarter by five and three quarter, and a four and one eighth by four and one eighth. And this is going to be the lid, and these are going to be the layers on the inside. So we'll start with the six by six. You want to go ahead and put that into your score pal. And what you're going to do is you're going to score it at two inches from the left edge. So just score it once, turn it a quarter turn, and you're going to just keep doing that. So you do that four times. So you're going to score like a tic-tac-toe grid pattern on, on your paper. And then you can just go ahead and fold that along those score lines like so. And then what you're going to do is um, with your scissors, you're just going to clip out, or you can use your trimmer, you are going to clip out each of these little corner pieces so that it actually looks like it's in an X or a cross. Um, and like I said, you could definitely use your paper trimmer for this step. So we're going to do that on all four sides. Um, and then once you get that done with your six by six, you're going to use your five and three quarter by five and three quarter piece. And we're going to repeat that same thing. We're going to go in two inches from the edge. So don't you don't want to measure in from the right edge. You always want to work off of that left edge. So do it at two inches. And then you're just going to do a quarter turn. And you're just going to do that four times so that you end up with that grid pattern in the smaller one. And then do the same thing. You're just going to go ahead and fold that along your score lines. And then with your scissors, you're just going to trim out um, that little square that's in the corner. And you can save those squares if you want to use those to embellish your book or your little, your little ornament, your little fold out box. So we're just going to repeat that. We're going to go around all four so sides. Okay, so what we have now is we have these two different sizes. We have the smaller one and the larger one. Um, these are going to be basically the um, insides of our box. So what I'm going to do is I want that plaid side to be on the outside of my bigger piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch my fold so that that's going to be on the outside. And then on the inside, I want the, the plaid side up like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer those together. I'm just going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of that center part. We're just going to glue those together like this so that you end up with a double a double layer. And then we're going to punch a couple of holes on the angle because that's how it's going to keep our little ornament together. So what I did is I'm going to use my crocodile, and my crocodile has a one inch reach, so I can just go in from that corner as far as it will go, and I'm just going to punch a hole there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. You just need to do two holes. Okay, so then we'll put that off to the side for a second and we're going to do our lid. Our lid is four and one eighth by four and one eighth and we are going to score it one inch around the edge. So we're going to do that same technique. We're just going to measure in from the left side. We're going to go at one inch and then we're just going to keep um, rotating our paper a quarter turn until we get that scored all the way around. And then you can go ahead and fold that up. And I want that green side out for my the box lid like this. And then we're not going to trim out those corners here. We're actually just going to trim from the edge along the score line just to that next score line. And we're going to do that um, on both sides. Oops, I missed my little fold line there because we're going to form this into a little box lid. Can you see how that's going to work out like that? So that's going to be our little lid on our box. But before we do that, we need to punch a couple holes here too. So we're going to do that same technique. Just go ahead and fold that flap up, and then you're just going to reach in with that crocodile and punch a hole there and do the same thing on the opposite corner. And the reason we want to do that is we want to have something to thread 
our, um, our ribbon, our rickrack through. So then I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on those four flaps and we're going to seal that lid closed. Now you need this piece to be four and one eighth because you need it to be just slightly bigger than your two by two box. So if we did it just four, it wouldn't fit on there. It would be too tight. So then just go ahead and put your adhesive and then you're just going to fold those flaps in. If you end up with something being a little bit off, you can just go ahead and take your scissors and sort of trim that up. I don't know how I ended up with one flap that's off, but I did. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim that, trim that out with my scissors so that it's even. That's what happens when you make handmade stuff. So then I've got this little flat, this little box top like this, and I've got my box bottom. Now you notice I don't have any photos on this yet, and I'll put my photos on after I get my construction done. Um, so now I've got a 24 inch length of rickrack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and feed this through the bottom of the box like so. And when I'm all done, I can um, use some adhesive and just really kind of glue that down on the bottom. For right now, maybe I'll just put a little bit down just to kind of keep it from sliding around too much. So I've got that piece and it's just going to come up through the center of my box like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those same ends and I'm going to feed those through the holes in my lid. This is so cool. Um, just like this. And what I want to do is I want to make sure they don't get too twisted or anything. So I want to make sure they don't get too twisted in there. So I'm just going to kind of scoot that down all the way so I can kind of bring the ends up. And then I'm actually just going to tie an overhand knot in the top of my rickrack like this. Um, you could do any kind of fancy knot that you wanted. So just like that. And then what's going to happen is that when my box is closed, my sides are closed up like this, this lid fits down right over my box. This hangs on my Christmas tree. So that way when I lift the lid up, my little sides fold open and there's all of my cute little pictures. So right now all I've done is the box construction so I need to put some little photos and embellishments and stuff on those little pages. So I will be back to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Thanks! Okay, so I just wanted to show you our finished product. Here's our little explosion box. I put a little uh, flower on the top with a button, um, glued some rickrack around the edge. When you lift off the top, then your little photos just fold right out on the side. So I did some photos. You can do, um, you can actually do eight little pictures in here if you want to. You could do more layers if you wanted to as well. So you can just kind of see um, all the different things. Then inside I just did one, a little piece, use some of my punches, put the date on there, just a little decoration. You could get out your Christmas embellishments. You could do a little dimensional thing in the middle if you have like a little tree or something like that. Um, so there's lots of fun stuff that you can do with this. You can see what a cute little ornament this is. And then you just fold up the sides and the box and the top goes back on to the box like this and they just pull that up, whoops, doesn't want to go back in. And then you can just hang that up on your tree. So you just want to pull that up tight and that's ready to hang on your Christmas tree. And it's just a really fun little surprise package. So thanks again for another fun photo ornament from Scrapyard Chicks. And we have one more for you tomorrow for the last photo ornament for Christmas. Thanks.